Hi, welcome back again to Life is a Music. Very in this is a channel that we do not only react, but we also discuss. This is a very special session because this is already the last and the fourth part of our special series reaction for the Rainbow Album of Mariah Carey. Now you can see on your respective screen for a bigger portion of this video about another version of the cover, the iconic cover which shows her and a little background of rainbow at the back and very blue cloudy background. Now that is very similar with the Thank God I Found You single cover. Anyway, so as usual, we have to go back to our track listing. Here it is. So again, this is the Rainbow album from 1999 with a lot of producers and collaborators. For the track listing, we were done from one to 12. So from Heartbreaker to Paddles. Now for this day, we will go from 13, 14, 15, from French edition and for edition and 15 for the re-release edition. All right, so now let us begin with our reaction. Okay. So the first stop is the rainbow interlude. Hmm. Oh, you can hear the little raindrops at the background, very similar to paddles, like the start of paddles. So this is also an interlude, by the way. very good lyrics there and the rhyming i know there is a rainbow for me to follow to get me beyond my sorrow so oh right good rhyming anyway so as expected from her good songwriting <laughs> how she started with very low vocals and layering of course at the background still her would be with some voices and almost at the end still the same quality of vocals <laughs> That is the end. And you can see here on the screen, the iconic Rainbow Album cover. Wow, so sexy, so voluptuous. Actually, no offense, man, but you can see on that figure. I wonder what's the diet that she maintained at that time. For sure, 
the team behind her is really focusing, is really into her figure. And then I really like the iconic album ensemble, like design at the back. So I've read it's actually like the spray, like a colored spray. And she designed that on the back, like on the cloth and also on her dress. Wow. Anyway, that's her. That's Mariah. Okay, okay. Okay. So, anyway. Anyway, so this must be a ballad now. This is another number one from her, another chart topper from Mariah. So making her, I think this is the last for the 90s decade. I could be wrong. Put that in the comment section, Lambs. So I could be wrong, but this is the last number one that she had. Oh, probably not really in the 90s because if this is released in 2000, so it is in the 2000s. Okay, so that must be, but this is the 14th number one. <laughs> first but before that can we just okay let's listen to that if you can recall a while ago i've shown to you the iconic rainbow album hopefully i can show that to you again iconic another version so i think i've shown to you like the for a while like this one right and i've shown to you like close to this one in the part three of the series and this is like another one like a close-up version you can notice the similarity of this and the thank god i found you here yeah if you can notice the similarity but of course the same setup but different dress and different colors. Anyway, so so beautiful of Mariah. Strong instrumentation at the background, like it really reverberated in my ear. Anyway. Okay, vocals are harmonizing with each other, like Mariah, then 98 Degrees, and Joe. Oh my, I can just notice how Mariah's lyrics in a certain song although if you can read the title it's thank god i found you thank god i found you as a person to whom i have feelings for and hopefully you will reciprocate to me that feeling but normally her songs despite having the title is really bittersweet you can read if you are into the lyrics you will know in this song like thanking the person about having the feelings for making her feel this way, but they are like separating from each other. So thank for the experience. Thank God for such. So just so sad with her lyrical structures. Can you have just like happy ending something? Anyway, 
that's not her thing for sure. So continuing. <laughs> going to be on the big parts there on big vocals but I've really noticed also how Mariah's presence and vocals in the song are not really affected despite having like five people in the song so Joe one and 98 degrees being four of them you can just imagine like Mariah and five boys <laughs> Okay, prolonged vocals from her, from Mariah at that part. <laughs> Have you heard that? High note on my whole life, then head tone. low notes at the end almost breathy vocals from her with microphones on that's why it can be heard or the vocals can be heard from her okay so this is like halfway of the four songs that we are going to react to for today so with that we are going to continue to the next track which is again Saul Lodge's featuring Westlife. Now, we all know that Mariah covered Against All Odds in this song from Phil Collins, an English singer. Okay, so I've noticed that Phil Collins English, Westlife English, before going to that part, can we just go into information a little bit of information about 98 degrees so they are or the group is an american pop and r b vocal group and they are here so these people are the members so jeff timmons 
Nick Lashy and Jewel Lashy and Justin Jeffrey. So I've known their song that is I Do Cherish You. For sure, a lot of fans are knowledgeable about the song because I know that song too. And it is nice because a lot of people are actually using the song in a lot of weddings. Like it is a wedding song. Now, for Joe, he is Joseph Lewis Thomas, an American singer, songwriter, and record producer. And he is really notable in the United States of America. And that's him. Okay. So, iconic song would be the following. But I know much on Thank God I Found You. That is Joe as a featured artist. Okay. So let us go back to the music. That is the pending one. It's Mariah featuring Westline. I just let you walk away Just let you leave without a trace When I stand here taking every breath with you Ooh, You're the only one who really knew me at all How can you just walk away from me When all I can do is watch you Wow, wow, wow. Nice low tones from Mariah. I can just imagine like there's Mariah and you, an aspiring singer perhaps, or we would say an established singer, doing a song together. I think I would be vomiting all over the place because that's how great she is. That's how an iconic figure she is in popular music. Anyway, so continue. And even tears, you're the only one who really knew me at all. So take a look at me now. There's just an empty space. There's nothing left. All right, all right. This is now the high parts by Mark Freehealy. I've known this because a certain person commented on the video. That's why I've known him. I didn't know much of uh, others, but I've known this one. That's Mark Freehealy. Anyway, before I continue, so a while ago in Thank God I Found You, she is with five boys. Now in Westlife, she's still with five boys. Have you noticed? Anyway, so going back to the vocals and performance. Turn around and see me cry. There's so much I need to see to you. So many reasons why. Also nice lyrics or penned words from Phil Collins in making the song because also of the rhyme. To take a look at me now because there's just an empty face. 
and there's nothing left here to remind me just the memory of your face or a memory of your face. Amazing lyrics and nice vocals from Mariah. Okay, this is the big part here. Let's listen or pay attention. Prolonged vocals and something flowery and curly at the last part. And here it will subdue with Westline. Take a look at me now. Take a look at me now. Take a look at me now. Oh my, nice harmony also from the boys. Like, it's all of them, but just one voice. So we are up on the next part or track or song. And before I do that, can we have an information about Westlife? So Westlife is actually from UK. It is an Irish pop vocal group composed of five members, supposedly, as you can recall in that video. but one member left in 2004. So supposedly there were five of them, or them. I've mentioned Shane Fillon, Mark Fihili. So Mark Fihili was highlighted a while ago on the second verse, having the high vocals. Ian Nikki, so Brian left. Anyway, now we are down to the last track or song. Supposedly, the last track would have been Thank God I Found You. So if you analyze the structure like Rainbow Interlude, I'm going to be positive. I know there is a rainbow for me to follow, to get beyond my sorrow. Okay, so something like that, being positive. And then on the last part, Whatever heartaches, whatever relationships gone sour along the way, still, thank God I found you. So it's a positive message. For this one, this is her version of an iconic song by Diana Ross, and that is Do You Know Where You're Going To? From Theme or from Mahogany, which is, I think, a musical. All right. So let's listen. Now, you know, Mariah is noted to make notable covers. She is known for that. And we will hear, we will see from this. Oh my, this is like the end already of our album. Anyway, hmm, are you excited? Okay. lyrics from the songwriters of this song like telling the person hey what are you doing do you know where your actions would bring you do you know where you're heading to that's the theme of this song like this is very serious i would say anyway so before we continue listening to the song can i just 
show to you a certain picture. For a while, I'm going to show to you a picture. Wow, so this is her. I've researched this from Twitter. And this is perhaps on her apartment, I would say, with the dogs at the bottom. And you can notice the rainbow. Oh my, what a coincidence. Like that was, or that time was the Pride Month. And of course, the iconic symbol is rainbow. And there's Mariah. So I would say that she is now, aside from a lot of titles for queens, she is also the queen of rainbows, I would say. So going back to, do you know where you're going to? Still in time, chasing the fancies that fail You just pay attention to the lyrics of this song and you're like one person or student I think you'll be thinking about life in general like why are you wasting your time you should be putting efforts on things that are very important it doesn't mean that we are not going to do some silly stuff life is too short we do that but at the end of the day it should be like what we are doing should contribute to the long term anyway Okay, nice instrumentation also here. Could be strings, strings involved. And we look at her, guys. She is like opening her blouse, but she doesn't look scandalous. On my end, I do not know with you guys anyway, but she's very beautiful in this picture. Anyway, the lines, do you get what you're hoping for? When you look behind you, there's no more open door. Wow, that's serious. Like you are hoping for things to happen, but when you look around, no one is there for you. Nothing, opportunity, no opportunity is for you or is there for you. Wow, that's something. A lot of people are being envy about her low notes. Why can't she hit those notes like that low? She's really gifted.
whistles, guys. Whistles hit by her. Wow, what a nice version from her. So very iconic also as a song. And then she made her own version of that. Wow. So that ends our series of reactions of the Rainbow album. Very iconic and very timely in the time of pandemic and the Pride Month. And before we end, let me also show to you another picture. But do you agree with me, guys, about what I've been saying in terms of the song, the vocals, and everything? Do you agree with me? Okay, so let's double check just for the sake. So, yeah, it's really the end here for French edition. So showing another picture that is the back of the album, the rainbow album here. This is so poetic. In a perfect world, human beings would coexist harmoniously like a rainbow, a multitude of colors, each layer vibrant and clear by itself, but in unison, boundless, breathtaking celestial wow words great words from raya and this is her signature so if you analyze the rainbow is composed of seven could be more colors because the other colors are not visible to the eyes but if you put them as a whole then that makes the rainbow beautiful it's boundless it's breathtaking and celestial and that ends my reaction, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you guys for bearing with me in very lengthy reactions because it's a special reaction just dedicated for the album. And if you would like me to react to more special projects for the album, so you can put that in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit or hit rather the notifications button. Then like this video you can share also to your friends to keep this channel growing and see you next time bye and god bless and oh don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye